players. This is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 10th of May 2021. I will draw two cards per day for every day of this week. So Monday the 10th of May and it's page of cups pardon me knight of cups Monday Tuesday page of wands Wednesday nine of pentacles Thursday six of wands Friday seven of swords Saturday seven of cups and Sunday the Empress Queen of Pentacles your influencing energy I'm gonna comment on it just now first I'm gonna pair them all so Monday Knight of Cups with the Queen of Wands Page of Wands Tuesday with the Moon Nine of Pentacles Wednesday with the Page of Cups Six of Wands Thursday with the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords with Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Saturday with the Sun and the Empress with Five of Wands on Sunday, Eight of Pentacles paired with the Queen of Pentacles. It seems to me that was just before this week, it was all about your skill, about your business, about your career, how to make money with that work, with that skill. Could also be that uh, um, that was um, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, per Capricorn person in your environment that you were interacting with. Also could be that you did have a job interview, you apply for work, uh, but you see what I'm saying? It was all about you making money with your knowledge, with your skill. Monday, now with the Knight of Cups and Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands within you is your energy. That is quite nice, lovely energy of Aries person, caring Aries person, all intuitive, all helpful, jolly and exciting and uh, uh, full of ideas. You know, a very creative person. Energy is very creative and you do have it within yourself. It's energy when you, Aries, it's, it's one you feel so excited about doing something about another person this is excitement this is being charming being talkative being friendly all beautiful energy full of fire okay with queen of wands and that what you are on monday it's quite nice your environment with the knight of cups you are receiving um offer of love okay maybe friendships somebody wanna wanna be with you feel good with you let's have good time let's have fun that kind of night of cups let's celebrate something also night of cups is toasting this success or this money or this idea you see what i'm saying by all means good feeling good vibe comes with night of cups by all means or it comes person okay maybe somebody who's water sign like pisces Scorpio or, or maybe cancer person, okay, on Monday. Page of Wands with the Moon on a Tuesday. Now, Moon is now within you. It's it's when you don't really see the whole picture. It's it's a night time and it's a perhaps long road until you realize what is exactly happening around you you see what i'm saying the moon energy says things are concealed things are not really certain and it is within you it could be that you are actually emotional aries on tuesday and you don't want people to see you you don't want people to know you maybe just because that you didn't make up your mind completely could be that that is the reason only reason why you are not showing yourself as a certain person and the same make a quick mover you see what I'm saying with the moon energy within you perhaps you are not certain yourself or you just don't want to show yourself everything of yourself to other people how do you feel what do you think you know not all facts it's kind of you are concealed on this day it doesn't mean that you have intention to manipulate or lie it could be that you're just cautious on this day page of wands in your environment could be that you are dealing with somebody younger your child if you have somebody like that who is perhaps teenager or 
you know, perhaps that the child is telling you something, giving you some information that is important. This child is excited about something and want to discuss it with you and you are not sure how to react, what to do, what to say. Could also be that you do, that you are receiving some news. Okay, uh, uh, page energy is news, is a change actually that comes with that news. Something is changing, some situation, slight change appears around you with this page of wands. Could be that it's just just the energy that is not person at all, but the energy is like that around you. That is situation is changing in some way and you are kind of unprepared for that what you heard, for that what you acknowledge, for that what is changing in your environment, in your situation. You are kind of, you were not prepared and you are not ready to say anything, to make decision or to move on. That kind of moon and page of wands energy on Tuesday. Even though situation in the environment, in your surrounding, looks exciting, looks new, looks promising, but still you are unprepared kind of for that what came your way. Page of Cups on Wednesday with Nine of Pentacles. No Page of Cups is within you. It's a very uncertain energy, very uncertain, very unsure about yourself. Very unusual for you, Aries, okay? But you felt that on Tuesday and Wednesday, you've got that uncertainty within yourself. Good, very nice energies in your environment, okay? Tuesday with this good news, something exciting is in your environment. But now on Wednesday, you have nine of pentacles which is maybe some amount of money that you do have some achievement somebody is achiever in your environment dealing with some money with some completion with situation that is really good completing in a such a good way nine of pentacles is its completion in a practical sense if it is about money you do have money if it's that you did have some sort of some project that you were busy with you finish that and you finish that successfully Everything is done to perfection. With nine of pentacles, things are done to perfection. That is achiever. Right. Quite lovely energy. But still, still you found yourself very uncertain. Tuesday, Wednesday, quite, quite conflicting. Kind of something is happening in your surrounding, in your life. Okay, which is different than that what you expected. And it's good. And it's maybe even better. It's good for sure. Okay. But somehow you were prepared for something else. Kind of found you, found you unprepared for whatever that is happening in your surrounding Tuesday, Wednesday. You were not prepared for that what you have. Doesn't matter money, success, uh, people around you. You were just not prepared. You don't know what you think about it. What is happening? Something, maybe something that seems too good to be true. What is going on? What do I do with this? What do I think? How, do, how did I find myself in this situation? even if it's good, even if it's brilliant. Lovely energies in your surroundings, eh? Aries follows with six of wands, a winning energy, finding your winning path, being visible, being recognizable. You see what I'm saying? Such a lovely energies that you have in your reality, in your surrounding, beautiful energy. It's very enthusiastic. We do have achievement, we do have money, we do have visibility, we do have success. And six of wands, all winning and prosperous energy. It's paired with seven of wands. Somehow you are defending your ideas about what are you about to do with your life, which way you supposed to go. I really see it like that on Thursday, that you have to explain to people Prove that you are right. You are proving to people. You are a leader in here. And for some reason, you have to tell them this is the best way. And this is why. And you are right. This seven of wands is standing by your opinion. Defending your opinion. Defending your positions. Okay. And you are defending this winning position. All right. You are visible, you are promoted at work, promotions, okay? People are seeing you, that you are worthy, you are the one who is talking truth, who knows winning energies on Thursday. People will perhaps rely on you to tell them this is the right way. You will be proper leader on Thursday, okay?
okay? You will be right, you will be strong leader, you will know what you're talking about. People will trust you and you will talk about things to your best knowledge. That kind of Thursday, so, somehow I really believe that, um, that there are people around you depending on that what you say, looking at you to hear what you're going to say about that situation or so and so. You see what I'm saying? That kind of Thursday, people are relying on you, on your knowledge, on your advice, on something that you're supposed to say. You're supposed to guide them what is the best way to move forward, what is the best way to move forward, because this six of wands is finding your winning path to move forward for success and abundance. That kind of very lovely, very lovely Thursday, I think it is your career, it is you being visible and acknowledged as somebody who's supposed to be followed, whose opinion is important. No. Friday is a bit tricky. I really dislike this, both of these cards. There is something that is hidden, um, cunning, maybe something that is stolen, something that is dishonest with Seven of Swords, that's for sure, and it is your environment, so you have to be careful how you approach people, how you allow people to approach you. Your project is taken away from you. Somebody is taking over, stealing the show. Somebody is stealing your ideas, somehow cunningly bringing you in the situation, in a very unfavorable situation for you on Friday, where you kind of promised something to people and you have to deliver now. You know, somehow cunning situation around you, Aries, and you, you're kind of caught in it in something cunning, some plot around you is definitely there and you were caught in it. It seems to me that you were rather naive in here, that you just couldn't see that people are not honest, people are about to kind of work just for themselves, didn't take your interest into account perhaps and somehow you agree with things, you promise things, you sign some things, okay, and just to realize later that you cannot deliver or it's too much or it's unfair towards you. You see what I'm saying? On Friday, you were kind of naive in here on Friday very much. Anyway, Seven of Cups and the Sun, a much better day on Saturday. The Sun energy within you, all joyful, being good, being with children, okay, going somewhere, outdoor, Saturday, a eh? good picnic or, or uh, on the sunny day, could be just something like that, going out with friends, going somewhere outdoor, somewhere outside, with nature, with your friends, with the Sun energy, Seven of Cups, that could, that could very well be. But look, could also be be that you are thinking about your future, about your prospect, about your options in your life. And on Saturday it could be just like that, seeing plenty options for you, for yourself, personally, just for you. Because look, this child on a white horse is you being okay like a child bringing that inner child within yourself starting something new feeling that you are at the very beginning but you will grow even if you were naive on friday or you have started something new and it's not solid yet it will grow with time obviously opportunities options are there for you with the sun energy seven of cups goes just beautifully something is very optimistic there on this day it's lots of enthusiasm and optimism on Saturday. Feeling good by all means on Saturday. Even if you are just thinking, even if you are just in your mind fantasizing about your future, beautiful future, lovely life in front of you, many beautiful options, what could be in your life for you in another, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years, and it's all bright and shiny and beautiful could be just like that day on Saturday. 
the Empress and Five of Wands. The Empress in your environment could all could be your mother, all right? Somebody who is somebody who loves you, uh, could be your home, could be your comfort zone. By all means, that what you love, that what you feel like your home or mother. All these words are talking about something that is very protective, that is comforting, that is warm and caring. You see what I'm saying? With with Empress is all that is Venus, love. Abundance, a beautiful future, harmony, you know, planning your future very similar to this sun card with this baby on the white horse. This is newborn, and this empress is pregnant. Could also could be that you are just planning, doing something that is at the very beginning, but you are confident, you trust that this project, these things, the situation will grow, this relationship is for long term, for your life, it will grow with time, it will be something beautiful in your life with time. Now, Five of Wands is energy within you, is you bubbling with these ideas, plenty ideas, how to move forward with whatever situation right now. Very similar to this uh, Seven of Cups and the Sun energy, to be honest with you, this Five of Wands in here, bubbling with ideas. And every idea is good, is doable in here. You see what I'm saying? That's what you were just dreaming about on Saturday. You are putting together, you carry on thinking about it, bringing practicalities in your idea, in your imagination. What is doable? How, you, how can you make it practical? make it real, manifest with, you know, with these ideas, these opportunities and options that are possible in your life. You see what I'm saying? And you cannot say which one is better, which one is good, which one is not good. Nothing like that because all of them are equal in their values. Every idea here is possible, does have its merit and it's possible and it's doable. You can go for it. That kind of Saturday and Sunday, very beautiful days. Besides this Friday, which I really think it's other people that tricked you into something. Otherwise, the whole week is really full of enthusiasm, opportunities for your career, for your life. Look at this, lots of wands, all enthusiasm, all ideas around you and within you. Things are happening this week in your life and it makes you really enthusiastic about what is going to be from now on in your life for some years and not just for now. A rather lovely week, weekend particularly. Enjoy it, Aries.